So, <clears throat> how's everybody doing in Canada? I'm here in Porto. This is our last day, other than tomorrow when we're leaving. Um, I did a high, uh, did a video on uh, week three progress, but then I decided there were some things I needed to delete from it. That was way back a week ago, before Henry arrived, and I never really got back to doing it. So I'm here again. <clears throat> a week later and I wanted to update you on how I was doing. In the background behind me you can see um, that we're at the hostel and uh, no longer in the homestay and here is uh, the cathedral right in behind me here. It's a, quite a nice hostel. There's a few things that could be better but we're, we're doing fine. Um, so I wanted to just update you on my progress <clears throat> and uh, in Portuguese is, I've done really well and um, you know I understand much of what's said now and um, you know I can have I've had wide-ranging discussions in Portuguese with both uh, Adriana and with uh, my teachers at the um, at the school and the course ended last Friday and this is this Friday so I've been away from it for a week um, I got my first joke in Portuguese that uh, someone told me, and I understood it, so I think I've done really well for the time that I've been here. Um, I, I attended the Rotary meetings, two of them, and um, that was really good, and I've noticed there's quite a difference in uh, my understanding on, of, uh, of, of the radio, listening to the radio, so all those things are good, and I'm able to say quite a bit and um, get whatever I need out of uh, people in shops and restaurants. Um, met a, a really nice fellow and his girlfriend uh, Winston and Kelly and they were kind enough to um, to drive me and also me and Anne Marie around to various places and uh, I'd really like to thank them for their hospitality. They're actually Brazilian and um, They've been in uh, Portugal for two or three years, and uh, they have opened up some of the, uh, you know, some of the things that I didn't know, some of the questions I wanted to ask. I was able to find answers uh, through them, so they have been very helpful. And uh, yesterday we went to Guimarães, uh, north of uh, Porto, and uh, while it was raining, it was a very interesting trip. Um, now. <clears throat> Portuguese is a Latin culture, and there's a real importance on talking, and you notice that here, um, the oral language is really important, and lots of emotion expressed in the language. So in the metro, for example, in Canada, there's a lot fewer people talking than here. I really notice the difference. And uh, there's everything under discussion from, um, you know, from politics to just daily life, everything. Um, the government here has uh, brought out a budget which is creating havoc. Um, they're being forced to uh, to raise money for their debt and uh, they're doing it by cutting 10% from the wages of government workers and you can imagine how that uh, goes over with government workers, not too well. So there's the threat of a strike and um, they're also cutting pensions again. They've already cut pensions once they're cutting them again, and again, this is going to create some problems uh, politically for them, uh, and, you know, general strikes and so forth. So there's 15 days of, of transportation strikes starting today, which we haven't really seen, and I haven't, you know, we went on the metro today, it was okay, and we're hoping to get to Al Bufana tomorrow in the Algarve, um, and uh, by train, and we'll see how that goes, but... Definitely they have 15 days in which they can do strikes anywhere, and they def probably will. There's a lot of frustration and anger about the budget, and, um, and uh, while it, it's very difficult to accept these things, I don't think much is going to change. You know, the, basically the government's hands are tied, and they're forced to do things by the Troika, as they call it, which is um, a couple of European... Um, Union institutions, the bank, the European bank, and uh, there's another one which I've forgotten, and the third one is the International Monetary Fund, and they are funding Portugal because the markets will not do so. 
and there's really not a lot they can do other than take the bailouts that are offered by the Troika and um, follow the advice that they give. Um, the, the other thing was that um, I have a, a bit of a video of the, of the shopping centre I'm hoping to put up. If I have not already, it's, it's at Setbikish and it's pretty neat and very much like uh, North American malls but, but quite interesting. And I guess the last thing I wanted to tell you is we have a word like hey, you know, um, that we use in Canada. You add it to the end of a sentence and put it in a little, um, a little question mode. So you say something like, the cathedral's beautiful, eh? That's how we'd say it in Canada. Or in America it would be, the cathedral's beautiful, huh? And in, in Portuguese they say something like, the cathedral is beautiful. And they add the words. Um, they add the words. No a, isn't it? Isn't it? So you can use this in much of your um, much of your language. Is no a at the end of a, a sentence. So you can say things like uh, the sky is blue today. No a, and uh, will uh, is is something you hear very much here. So I hope everybody's doing well in Canada. This has turned out to be six minutes. I was hoping to keep it down a little bit, but I'll see if I can upload it to, um, to Facebook. And I will see you guys in about a week. I guess it's the sixth when I get back. Okay, bye for now.